So I'm going to be showing you today how to create another look with the Kylie Take Me On Vacation palette. I'm just loving this palette and today I'm going to be doing the pinks and mauve colours in it. So if you want to see how I got this gorgeous smoky eye look, keep on watching. And if you want to laugh and watch me fail at fake freckles, then obviously keep watching. I've already prepped my skin with my Nivea Eco Shave and Balm. I love this stuff, it's primer, it is so good. Now I'm just going to paint my face with my foundation. I've been using Clinique Beyond Perfection and I, this foundation, like the tiniest bit, goes such a long way. And it's got like concealer built into it. It really is really good coverage. I'm just going to buff that in now. It blends so nicely. Like it just sinks straight into your skin. It is amazing stuff. I think I've definitely found my new favourite foundation. I've never really used any Clinique products before. Um, this is insane. It looks like skin as well. It's not... It doesn't make you look really flat. Which a lot of full coverage foundations do tend to make me look really flat. Now my foundation's buffed in. I'm going to go in with my Rimmel Mousse Powder in Translucent just to set the foundation. Microwave from Cupping Powder. I've got powder in my hair. <laughs> Real done. Now I'm going to go in with my Manica Da HD Perfecting Powder. I love this stuff, it really brightens up the eye area. I'm just using a small fluffy brush. I'm just going to move it around. So I am going to be using my Kylie Cosmetics Take Me On Vacation palette. I said in the last tutorial that I done that I really wanted to do more looks with it to show that there are so many colour options and looks that you can create with just this one palette. I'm really excited to do another look with it today. So last time was a brown smoky eye look. I will link it down below if you want to check it out. So today I want to use some more of the summery colours. So I'm going to go in first of all with this light brown. I'm going to go with this light brown and go all over the lid. So I'm going to go in with this mauve colour to go on my crease. As I'm blending it, I'm just going to bring it up again slightly just so it blends out really nicely. I'm now going to go in with the same brush with this brown next to the colour that we used all over our lips. It's a tiny bit on the outer corner. Now all over my lid I'm going to go in with this gorgeous pink colour. I really like this smoky look with the pink and the purple. I feel like we need a bit of shimmer on the lid, so I'm going to go in with this gorgeous pink toned copper. Yeah. I'm just going to go in with my baby finger. Love that on the outer side of the lid. I'm going to go on the lower lash line. I'm going to go back in with the purpley mode that we used, using a flat, a tiny flat brush. And then I'm going to go in with the pink, just a little bit higher. I'm going to use the shimmer colour that we used on the outer lid. And just pop that in the outer lash line. I'm going to go in with my new look precision ink liner. So I'm just making my lash line it's slightly thicker. I'm not doing a proper wing liner. I just want to make my lashes appear thicker. 
So I started off doing the top lash liner and it kind of went into a, a winged liner. <laughs> Even though I said I wasn't going to do a winged liner, I was going to go very natural and just make the lashes look a bit fuller. Somehow, it ended up as a full on bold winged liner. And I've popped on my other wispy false lashes. They're my favourite. So now we're gonna go on and finish the eye makeup. So now to make the eye stand out even more, I'm gonna go in with my Bi Terry eyeliner. I love this pencil eyeliner, it's so pretty. It has gold flecks within the black. It's one more time for us. <laughs> I'm just gonna run it along the lash line. makes such a big difference. They are popping now. <laughs> so because we had a little bit of fallout, I'm gonna go back in with my Manica Dark powder and just go under the eyes again. Oh, I just remembered I totally forgot to put mascara on. So I'm gonna go in my Rimmel Scandwise Reloaded. I'm just gonna pop that on the lashes to blend with the falsies. I'm gonna pop some on the lower lash line. I'm going to go in with my NYX contour palette in this shade here. I'm going with a tapered fluffy brush. And I'm just going to run some around my lips to the pan. Now I'm going to go in with my new favourite, my Milani bronzer. Last video I had a tough time saying that, if you remember. <laughs> but this is in Zero Fault Glow. I'm going to go in with one of my favourites, the Elf Peachy Keen blusher, as you all know. I need to go and get some more of theirs. So, today I'm going to try something that I've never tried before. It could completely mess this whole look up. So I'm going to go in with my highlighter, it's the Makeup Revolution Peach Light one. I think these freight freckles look really cute, but I think that because I have freckles and you can see some of them coming through anyway, it probably doesn't really work for me. I'm just going to go in with a little bit of highlight on this brush to go under my brow bone and in the corner of my just to open my eyes up because we have quite a lot of black and black closes your eyes. I'm going to go in now and line my lips with my MAC World Lip Liner. I'm going to go in with my NYX lingerie in push-up. I love this colour. I think I used it not last video, it's video before. And it matches a well lip liner so well. So I have overlined my lips slightly. 
I never can overline them too much because it's really obvious on me. So it is only slight, but it makes such a big difference. Obviously, to finish the look, I'm going to go in with my Makeup Revolution Pro Fix Fix and Spray. So that is the finished look. I love how the eye makeup turned out. It looks amazing. The eyes are really popping and sunshine. I do feel like maybe I should try a liquid eyeliner in a brown. I think that will work much better than the pencils that I use. But I do think that it does look quite cute and if I did it, tried it a different way, it would probably work a lot better. And obviously I already have freckles so you can already see them through the foundation. So for me this trend isn't going to work. So if you enjoyed this video remember to click thumbs up, it really helps me out. And also if you want to see more from me remember to click subscribe, it's down below. And then next to it there's also a bell icon, click that and you'll be the first to know when I upload.